Meanwhile, ESCOM is proposing a significant 36% electricity price increase for 2026 financial year, which could enhance cash flow for its creditors, but creates challenges for consumers and hinder economic growth. Furthermore, this increase, well above the current inflation rate, raises concerns about rising costs for households and businesses, potentially exacerbating inflation. In addition, ESCOM argues that the hike is essential for its financial stability as it grapples with over 400 billion rand in debt. Energy expert Matthew Cruz shares his perspective. News from ESCOM is that they have applied for a 36% increase to NERSA for the price of electricity next year. This comes after already having received an 18.65% increase two years ago and 12.74% increase last year. ESCOM cited the reason for needing the price of electricity to become cost reflective in their application and stated that the price of their energy costs, their, their primary energy costs of coal have increased as well as the diesel cost that was incurred over the energy crisis period. They also cited that operational costs of maintenance has increased and also the energy that comes from the independent power producers. In my opinion, this is going to just further the spiral of death that ESCOM is going through in what is termed internationally as the utility death spiral, where the price of electricity from the utility, which typically provides coal power electricity, increases and large power users see that it's more viable to go for cheaper sources of electricity, like solar, rather than getting electricity from the incumbent. We are already seeing this from the large mines and also large businesses, where they are installing large solar farms and large wind farms as well. Already at uh, this current price point of electricity at the moment, my company, Forest Energy, is able to offer a 40% discount per kilowatt hour on the cost of electricity compared to ESCOM's price, and that's through a power purchase agreement and a good indication of why companies are going away from ESCOM already, which is predicted to further increase going forward.